Coach, first off, congrats on the win. Uh, I imagine you are happy with the result. Is it what you were looking for? Uh, yeah, I think the biggest positive is that we got a clean sheet, which was has been a um, it's, it's been a talking point for us. Um, I think it's officially the first one, so that was that was a huge plus for us. I think um, there was a lot of positives out of the game. Obviously, goals we scored and stuff like that, but. I think it proved that um, we've still got a little few things to tweak and work on over the next week in preparation for the Boston game. And, you know, UW are a strong physical side, well organised, and I knew they weren't going to be difficult to beat, but um, some of the goals we scored were, were top quality, so that was exactly what we were looking for. Seems like other teams in the league have already played one or two, maybe even three preseason matches. Was it good to finally get on the pitch for 90 minutes? Yeah, you know, we've played against some behind closed door scrimmages against boys, um, which was always the plan uh, while we had our full squad together. And then when the international players went away, it was always the plan that we were going to uh, play some of the local colleges. Um, and I think it's more beneficial to us that way so that when everyone comes back together again, we've all got a similar amount of minutes and drop out. So, yeah, it was a great exercise. You started Amanda Frisbee up top. Uh, is that a decision you've made to put her as a forward as opposed to on the defense or are you still playing with it? Still playing with it a little bit. Um, the minute she she needs minutes and we need to see how good she is playing up there and I thought she did well tonight. There's a lot of things she needs to work on in her game but you know the the reason we signed her is she's so flexible um, and she proved that tonight. I thought she did well down there on the left hand side. I thought she was a threat. The other rookie Megan Brigman started as well. What did you see from her? pace, power, um, exactly what you'd expect of a UNC kid and she f she plays the position really well in terms of how we want to play the game um, and I thought she grew into the game gradually more and more as the play went on. I think we could go down every player on the roster that played tonight and did something positive but someone that stuck out is Bev Goble. What did you see from her? It seems like she could have had five tonight. She's just class. Um, she brings an air of um, yeah, class about her really. Uh, always wants the ball, can play short, can play in behind. Always knows where the goal is. Um, will shoot from distances no one else would expect to think about shooting from. And then I think on one of the goals you saw her intricacy in and around the box to set someone else to score. And uh, I think this is a big year for Bev. Um, and I'm in really excited for her. I don't want to take any trade secrets from me. We have one training tomorrow before we get out on Saturday again on the pitch. What are you working on tomorrow? We'll just watch tonight a little bit and just work on a few little bits and bobs, but mainly it's recovery and preparation for Saturday because playing against SPU at home at Memorial for the first time is going to be a huge event and occasion for the whole club. How much are you looking forward to getting on Memorial? I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Um, it's something that we've been looking forward to for months, and I'm, I'm really glad that it's finally here. Laura, thanks so much and congrats on the win. Thank you.